desk. Tennis takes center court next week when the U.S. Open serves up the second Grand Slam event of the year. No U.S. man has won a Grand Slam tournament since Andy Roddick won the U.S. Open way back in 2003. San Diego native Taylor Fritz hopes to end that drought sooner rather than later. And after a successful stint at World Team Tennis, he hopes to make a strong run at this U.S. Open. turned 22 at the end of last year and I, I trained really hard in the off season. I was playing well last year. I've been going up, you know, every single year. So, you know, I, I was just really hoping 2020 would be like a, a big year for me. I wanted to, I wanted to break top 20. I wanted to come close to like top 10. I wanted to really like assert myself as one of the, you know, one of the, one of the best players. Taylor Fritz certainly did that during the month of July at the world team tennis event in West Virginia. At number 20 in the world, he's achieved his highest ranking and earned the male MVP award. He also posted the best record of any singles player. Fritz went to West Virginia as the highest ranked player in world team tennis and says that at times he felt like a marked man, especially when he played fellow San Diegan Brandon Nakashima. Both of our teams were tied for first. Him and I were tied on our singles records. We were the, statistically the two best players in the league, so I think I I felt it. Him and I both really wanted that one. With no ATP tournaments for the past several months, Fritz said he took advantage of World Team Tennis to get back into playing shape. He said that even though he only played one set a day, he got valuable playing time, which he hopes gets him ready for a good run at the U.S. Open. What we are getting here that you can't get in practice, just regular practice, is just these pressure situations playing the no add deuce points, like these big moments in the match where like your team's counting on you. You're just really feeling the pressure. And like, that's how you might feel on like a really big point, like break point at the US Open. So like, I'm getting a lot of experience and like confidence in playing these like big important uh, moments that you just really can't replicate in any practice. You know, I've taken this, this time off to just commit myself harder than ever before, train harder than ever before. So. I'm just really excited for tennis to come back because I think that um, it's like a whole new beat.